What's up guys and welcome back to another Mission Chief tutorial. In this video we're going to be talking about uh, the Helicopter Emergency Medical Service bases and the helicopters themselves. So aka HEMS. So H-E-M-S. If you guys didn't know what that meant, now you know. So without further ado, I have multiple HEM stations. So let's just uh, find my name real quick so you guys can point them all out. Or you guys can find them, I guess. But anyway, so these are strategic places um, that this company plotted out within our state of Minnesota. And I did find them and I placed them down. So I think I have three or four different medical, air medical services within my state. But anyways, I have like um, tri-state uh, shit down here like Geisinger. I also have uh, Sanford up here, which is in North Dakota, South Dakota. I also have Lifelink 3, which is in Minnesota and parts of Wisconsin. I have North Memorial in parts of Wisconsin and uh, Minnesota, and I have Mayo Clinic, so that's around five. But anywho, and I believe we do have one more, like Methodist, Baptist, uh, helipad shit somewhere around here. I, I don't really know where the fuck it is, but I will eventually find it. So I don't know if they've been shut down or something like that, but I don't, I don't know yet. Um, but anywho, so as you can see, I have one here. I am working on more. So I have one here, 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 and I yeah, have one more over here. Nope, that's the hospital. But anyway, and I'll also have one right here. So North Memorial Air Care right there. Anyways, so as you guys can see from the map, I have quite a few. And the good thing about these is, if you guys look at my, um, my ground ambulance stations, they're pretty far away from an actual hospital. So maybe this is maybe, I don't know, like 25 miles right here, I guess. I don't really know the exact measurements, but let's say 25 miles from uh, Cast Lake Indian Health Services from uh, North Memorial um, Ambulance Base in Walker. Um, so that could take around 30 to 45 minutes for like a, just to go to the hospital. Or they might go to like a little, like really small clinic or something to even get that shit done, depending on what the emergency is. But anyways, um, so that's why we have the medical helicopters, because they can transport from place to place, especially because they're a lot faster. So anyways, like the example I gave before, this North Memorial Ambulance, if I were to get three consecutive calls in this area and I could physically not handle them, I would be, um, actually, this is actually a really bad example. Let's find one where we're actually close to a medical service. So let's, uh, let's say... Let's come down here real quick. So we have a Livy Ambulance, let's say. A Livy Ambulance gets three medical calls, and let's, I don't know how, let's say they only have two ambulances, and they can physically not do this. This is Mission Chief anyways. This is pretty unrealistic, and this would probably not really ever happen. Um, but it's possible, but it, anyway, so since the North Mall is actually so close, they could um, get these calls, especially when they're transporting from long places like Redwood Falls Area Ambulance. Um, it just makes the time a lot quicker if that makes sense that my helicopters are used quite often they have thousands and thousands of miles on them I, I think the largest um i think this helicopter up here has the most miles on it oh and he's on a stabbing right now so he has 107 thousand miles on it i think i even have one more than that i don't remember which one but they got a lot let's check this one Usually the ones that are far out usually have the most. So how much does this got? 168,000. So I could actually figure it out, but um, that's not what our topic is. Anyways, so getting out to HEMS, you go to build new building, of course. You go to uh, helicopter, where the fuck is it? Oh my God, am I blind? Helicopter station. I was up right on it. Helicopter station. As you guys can see, it costs a million credits. Now, if you were like me, um, like at the time, a million credit was a fuckload, so I did spend 50 coins. I didn't buy any 50 coins because I saved up all my coins from when I leveled up and uh, when I when the advent calendar was here. So I saved up my 50 coins and bought it, and when I first bought it, I'm like, okay, awesome, maybe I'll get a first vehicle just like a fire department. They do not give you first vehicles in the helicopter station. So when you do buy it, you do need to build the helicopter with it, or purchase the helicopter with it. You don't need to build it. Um, so that the additional helicopter will cost you three hundred thousand dollars. So your total cost will be one point three million dollars. Um, that that's quite extensive, especially when you only have like six stations at the time, um, because that's exactly what I did, and it takes a long time to make a million credits for damn sure. Like t a million credits when you have six stations is equivalent to ten stations. So, but nowadays, since my fire stations are more expensive 
than an EMS helicopter station. It's actually more efficient to even – it's more efficient to build a helicopter station than a fucking fire department. Although fire departments are more fun, um, helicopter stations just make shit so much fucking easier, especially because they travel so goddamn quickly. But anyways, um, there's also one more thing I want to show you guys. Um, this is something I have found out. Uh, let's just find – Let's just find a call real quick. I'm going to quickly do this. Um, uh, let me find one real quick. Just dispatch a helicopter real quick. I'll try to find an emergency. Oh, is this one? Nope. Mm. Ah, here we go. So I'm going to dispatch Chisholm Ambulance Service to this allergic reaction. So as soon as I hit this ambulance button, it will dispatch Chisholm Area Ambulance. Now, if you guys look right here, Norma 354 Lima Lima is actually extremely close to this um, call. Now, this is what I'm going to call um, on-scene transport. Now, this is actually the most realistic type, especially when it's, um, when it's time critical. Sometimes in a real emergency... They all dispatch a helicopter, even put it on standby. Um, so right now, we're going to send the ground ambulance to this call. And um, due to the fact that, let's say, Chisholm is so goddamn far away from this hospital in a Fairview Range Medical Center. I mean, really, they're not too far away. They can just take the interstate, or not interstate, but highway, Highway 169 to uh, Fairview Range Medical Center. Now, let's say they were pretty far out here, maybe like on like a like a trail over here in this marshy area, and they needed a helicopter immediately, uh, maybe because the person was not going to make it through an ambulance trip on the highway or interstate, and they needed shit right away. So let's just wait for this ambulance to um, treat the person on scene and decide whether they need, they need a medical assistance or not. Now, hopefully, if this call does work out, sometimes the calls uh, like this allergic reaction They'll request to be transported to the hospital if it's serious enough, or they'll just treat on scene and the patient will refuse transport. Hopefully that a case is that they want to get transported to the hospital, or this um, will make absolutely no sense. Now, if it does, I'll be able to show you guys a real-world example on how to do this little uh, trick I found. Um, but if not, I'll actually start up a second one, just in case that first one does not work. So let's uh, dispatch this to the acute asthma. Now, if this does work, we should see a call right down here. We're going to transport this helicopter, uh, number, uh, November 58, November Mike, to wherever the fuck they wanted to go. Where are you? Okay. They're on a cardiac infarction. I don't know what the fuck that is, but uh, where are you? View mission. Okay, so they're in. Oh, they're on a room fire. All right, so that's like right up here. All right. Mm, oh, that's not it. But anyways, as you guys can see, these helicopters fucking haul ass, especially since they can fly over roads. They don't need to take roads. That's always a good part. So, anyways, if we find this fucking call, the room fire, wherever the fuck this was, room fire, room fire, room fire. I'll show you uh, how quickly these things actually go. Uh, is this it? Mm, I think this is. No, that's a roof fire. God damn it. Room fire. That's not it either. Um, ah, here we go. So in this room fire right here, we have a helicopter. All this is unrealistic to actually send a helicopter to downtown. It's mission chief, and they really don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, but anyways, I love helicopters. Now, there's two reasons why. Number one, you get a... Oh, and I just unplugged my fucking cord. Hold on. Uh, I have a cord stuck in water. There we go. Um, and anyways, um, what the fuck was I saying? This is even in the call.
That's the call right there. So anyways, we have a helicopter on this call, uh, the North Mariana helicopter. So they're going to be transported, and as soon as they, I hit transport, this call is going to end. So it should just disappear instantly. And that's just like every other call. As soon as the call ends, it goes from fire. If the fire call ends and there's medical on it, they're going to wait for medical to transport. And as soon as medical's done, the call is going to be completely canceled, and everyone's going to go 10 8. So this helicopter is going to, I don't even remember which hospital I just sent it to. Um, status 7, I don't know where the fuck I sent them. But anyways, I think they're going to go to Regency, possibly, because I do have shit here that they can actually use. So they're most likely going to go to General Internal, my guess, seeing as their trajectory, or their, um, their heading is directly towards this hospital. Otherwise, they might be just going, yeah, they're going directly to Regency. So that's literally like a 10, 10 to like 30 second flight. So that's kind of what I like, especially when you're in downtown and there's um, there's a lot of roads. But uh, boom, look at that. Now that we did that, we just completed the call. They just landed at the patient in the hospital. And this helicopter is going to turn back to the, the helipad, wherever the fuck he came from, which I believe was um, oh, he came from a long ways away. Whoa. I don't really know where the fuck this guy came from. Where did he come from? Uh, station, North Mar Yeah, I know. He came from North America. So the way he's heading, most likely he came from way the fuck up here. Way the fuck up here. I think he came from up here. So that does happen a lot. So now I'll tell you the reason why that helicopter was all the way down there on a room fire call, if you guys did not notice that. So, let's say this helicopter was dispatched to this food poisoning call, alright? So, he transported the food poisoning call down to uh, the Minneapolis, where all of my hospitals are, and that's basically where he's going to get stuck, because I play this game, when I do play this game, I have thousands of calls, and I have a lot of medicals, I have a shitload of medicals happening all the time, especially when you have medicals on fires. So, that helicopter will be rerouted, since they're one of the fastest units, they're going to get the fastest in an ambulance. So, that call, the helicopter is going to get transported, or um, going to get diverted to an emergency like, let's say this overdose right here. He flies to the hospital, let's say HCMC over here. Transport from that, uh, what was that, fallen person or whatever the fuck I said before. Transports him here, and then he gets diverted back to an overdose call with police on scene. As soon as that overdose call gets finished, he, if I, if he has to get transport, he'll transport back to the hospital, and the cycle will just keep continuing on and on. When he does get finally back to his place, which that's the point when I usually stop playing the game because he has enough time to transport back, uh, then I can resume doing all of my calls. That's the only downside of working with Hems. But the upside now, this is my favorite part. You basically get a thousand credits every time you transport someone via helicopter. Now, it's not directly a thousand, but I like to just think it's a thousand because it's, it's pretty fucking high up there. Now, if we head over to credits, we're going to see. So this is a normal ambulance call right here. 575 credits for patient transport and treatment. Now, what does that even mean exactly? When you transport someone, you get 250 regardless. Or no. Which one is it? I'm thinking about opposites, I guess. You get 250 credits for just treatment or is it transport? It's treatment. It's definitely treatment. So let's say... Um, you have like so many uh, – since um, – yeah, I'll save this one for another episode because it, 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 it'll, it'll be too much. Okay. But anyways, if we head back to credits, we see that we have patient treat, treatment and transport via helicopter, and that's 862 credits. So that's quite a bit more than a ground ambulance, and I do believe off the top of my head I've had enough helicopter transports where I have repaid for my helicopter bases. Not all of them, maybe a couple, but let's see my overview, if I can even check it via monthly. Uh, transactions, just daily, no, no, no. So let's see right here. Patient, treatment, Martin, and transport by helicopter. Now, I've only been playing this game literally today for maybe, maybe like 15 minutes. Not even 15 minutes. When I came on, I had like a shitload of emergencies that needed to be transported to the hospital because when I do get off, all the calls are still going on and they will eventually finish as soon as I'm offline. But anyways, um, so if you see right here, I have 10 of those treatments, or 10 of those uh, flights done. Now, you take 10 times 862, and of course you're going to get 8,620. So that's quite a bit of money, not going to lie. That is 
an insane amount of money, especially since we have six of them, and I've only been playing this game for not even too long. But anyways, um, that that's that's quite good, um, especially when we have our ground ambulances that have fifty-seven um, transports with thirty-two thousand dollars. That's that's amazing. That's why I love medicals. Medicals give you a lot of money. Between medicals and fires, they give you one of the most most abundant forms of money sources in the game. Police calls, not so much. And granted, I'm not going to talk about this episode because that's that's going to be saved for the police department. Now, I don't remember what else I have to say about Ham's bases. Um, oh, that's right. I need to head back to this station up here. Did it be? Uh, did they need to get transported? I don't think so. But anyways, like I said before. Yeah, they did not even need to um, transport via helicopter. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another one. Because apparently the, our secondary one over here did not require transport either. Oh, never mind. Looks like they might. So, regardless, we're going to dispatch... Oh, man. They're about 53 minutes out. Is it this helicopter? Where are you going? Number 354, where you... Oh, you're also going to this acute asthma. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so if we look at this call real quick, oh, and the ground ambulance was never even dispatched. Let's uh, respond at Lake County Ambulance because Lake County Ambulance was most likely transporting via to the uh, to the hospital, so that's probably why they were not dispatched priority. Uh, but anyways, now let's go over this call real quick because this is going to be the last thing I cover, um, and I'm going to make this episode moderately short, even though it's only one building. And I did talk about it for 20 minutes. I did get a little bit off topic, so. Now, let's say this acute asthma needs to be transported quickly. Now, granted, there's a hospital right across the street, and if this was not the case, and you wanted to get the shit, uh, the patient across the country, or the states, real quickly, here's what you would do. Now, when this um, patient needs full attention, so when this bar basically, I'll show you real quick, when this bar gets all the way down and it becomes green and starts flashing, um, meaning that this um, patient needs to be transported to the uh, hospital. Um, you can do that with the ambulance. Now, granted, this hospital is really right across the street. Um, when he needs to get transported to the hospital and you want to switch him over to a medical helicopter, here's what you can do. Now, I don't know if you guys are exactly get what I'm saying. So let's say this ambulance is on scene and needs to be transported to the hospital. Now, I'm pretty sure I've already explained this once, but I'm going to say it again. So the ambulance is completely done with the call, and he's ready to transport and get in the driver's seat and go. But instead, you want to dispatch a helicopter and take this patient. Instead of the ambulance going to the hospital, you want the helicopter to go to the hospital. Here's what you do. So as soon as the helicopter arrives on scene, you guys get an LZ set up and a blah, 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 blah. Here's what you do. So this helicopter will be here in about 14 minutes. And I'm not going to keep you guys sitting here. I mean, I could pause the video and let it do that way. But I think it would make a lot more sense, especially if this call does not pan out. So, here's what you do. When the helicopter gets on scene, you have two vehicles here sitting. The first one that tr uh, fully treats the patient gets priority call, or priority transport. Uh, it doesn't really work like that with the ambulance and helicopter. So here's what you do. You cancel the ambulance. And now, since the patient still needs to be transported, it does not officially cancel the call because there's still a unit on scene. So, the patient will be transported to the helicopter. Now, this ambulance will be um, responding, or not responding, but he'll uh, be returning to his quarters or back to his ambulance station. Now, you'll just have the, the helicopter here. Now, with the helicopter, it'll give you the transport um, pad to transport just like this. It'll be like, as soon as you get out, it'll switch over to the helicopter. So, the helicopter's like, okay, well, we'll transport. So, you're going to hit transport, and then you'll head to the closest hospital with the correct facility. So, you'll do that. Alrighty. <laughs> so that is basically what I wanted to show you. That's just a little tip I've actually found, which is actually really cool and not many people know about. Um, just because, you know, I guess many people don't really go in depth on helicopters. People just use them free well, especially when they build them unrealistically. Because I can show you right now people in the uh, UK um, that probably do not play realistically because they have so many fucking helicopter pads. I have... Whoa. There we go. Now it's reloaded. So we have lots of fucking medical helicopters over here, which is kind of a fucking insane number. I don't even know if these are all fucking real or not, because I don't have time to look that shit up. Um, 
but they're all over the place, especially when you have ones at military bases. This one, they have like U.S. Air Force helicopters, which doesn't make any sense to me. But whatever. But I believe that does cover HEMS. If you guys have any other questions, and I, I don't know if I covered everything within HEMS, but I do believe I did. Um, shit. Okay, last last thing. So, um, if you guys would like to find out how you get I get the numbers of all my helicopters. Now, granted, I do know I did do my research on all of my helicopters. Now, you can go to their site. Sometimes they do say where the locations are. But if we head over to my vehicles tab, this may take about 10 minutes. I'm, I'm going to explain to you guys. Um, how do I find my shit? I'm just going to cover EMS helicopters, especially because I'm going to go through multiple sites. So let's go over to vehicles. And now since every helicopter, mostly in America, starts with an end number. So November 355 Lima Lima or November, 3, November 371 Lima Lima, they all start with N. So granted, all my helicopters are in a row, so all in a row. So I have all these helicopters, especially with all these miles on them, 168,000 miles. That's a lot. Um, there they all are. Now, granted, you can actually Google this number right here, number 20 North Memorial. Um, granted, that's not the correct phonetics for aircraft, but you Google, actually, you know what? I think that one actually might have crashed. So let's, um, um, November, yeah, let's go 20NM. And then you go to this uh, first site, which is Flight Aware. Now, the most recent flight actually occurred on February 5th, 2016. So, granted, this helicopter might not be in service anymore, but I still do use it. I guess that does make me play unrealistically. But anyways, so this will actually show you where the base of the helicopter actually is. So, um, I'm actually finding where I actually know. Number 355 Lima Lima. Oh, that's 225. God damn it. And 355 Lima Lima. <sighs> All right, so we have St. Paul to Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Now at Ra Rice Lake, let's head over to Rice Lake. I believe that is where we have our other, e or, or, um, I think this is the Rice Lake one right up here. Yeah, Rice Lake Regional, you guys just saw that. Rice Lake Regional Airport right here, and we have our medical helicopter base. Now how did I know that? Now granted, you have to actually look at their flight history. Now, in their flight history, you'll see all their flight shit. And you, what, whichever airport you see the most, is, as you can see right here, you RPD a lot. Now, RPD is their little code, their little R, A, like, RTCC code, or whatever the fuck it is. ARTCC code. Um, and as you can see, RPD is in there a lot. Now, that is most likely the home base of number 355. So, that is exactly what I usually name my helicopters. So, in this one, this is the official, the one, the most, the one that happened basically today, Saturday, the 16th, December 20, uh, 2017, which happened an hour and 34 minutes ago, the most recent flight from RPD to St. Paul, which was the most likely a transport of inner facility from the airport to another airport, and the ambulance picked them up to the, at the airport down here in St. Paul to the hospital or of whatever they chose. Now, getting off topic, number 355 Lima Lima, that should be the base or the helicopter here. Which is true. Number 35 Lima Lima. I haven't changed these helicopters out in a long time. I don't know why that's still true, but anyways. Now, now that I know that the air the um the home base of this helicopter is here, now I head over to Google Maps. Now granted, I did extensive research on trying to figure out the exact hangar. Now finding the exact hangar is um is extremely um, difficult to do, especially when you don't have any pictures. Sometimes they do make it easy on you, and I'll show you an example why. So we head over to KPRD. Now put in the K because K usually means that it's an American airfield, and then you put the the three letter uh, phonetics in there, and you go to Rice Lake, and that makes it extremely easy. Now I do know that this uh, helicopter base is right over here, uh, due to a number of reasons. Number one, you see a uh, aircraft. Um, door right up here open and also you see the helicopter right up here now i do know for a fact that the um medical helicopters of lifelink are dark blue and they're an agusta westland helicopter now if you see right here you see a little square under the helicopter that's their little transport platform that they actually stick into the hangar and the helicopter sits on top and as you can see 
that's a helicopter right there in the shadow. You can directly see that that's an Augusta Westline helicopter, and it's for Life Link. So I knew for a fact that this um, hangar right here was associated with Life Link. So that's a, then what I returned put right here. That is the official base of Life Link 3 and November 355 Lima Lima until they do switch out the helicopters due to maintenance issues or whatever the fuck it may cause. But anyways, that is about it. That is a, just a short re, um, pick on how I find my uh, official buildings and uh, make them as realistic as I possibly can. Because I go, I'm, I'd say I'm, I go above and beyond what other people do in order to find uh, units and their unit numbers. Now, I do thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of HEMS. And as you guys can see, I do have a lot of helicopters actually fucking flying everywhere right now. I have fucking three of them right here. That's just, I don't even have... I have 78 pending calls, and none of my ambulances or fire trucks are even responding. So it's nice to see all these helicopters just out and about and doing their shit and getting me money. So like I said before, thank you for watching, Hems. Have a good one.